If you have anything to do with innovation, you absolutely must deal with AI patents and in this episode I'll explain why. Welcome to Beyond Best Practice, the place where I share everything I know to help IP professionals file better digital patents. Hope you enjoy and subscribe. Okay, so why should you care about AI patents at all? Well, the reason is quite simple, because AI is everywhere and uh, not only in our life, but also in the patent ecosystem. And um, this probably goes back to the fact that artificial intelligence and machine learning as a technology um, is really on an exponential growth trajectory, um, much like Moore's law in the end, which is um, the, the law that essentially computer processing power doubles every one or two years, leading to this exponential growth trajectory. And um, the, the same seems to apply to the development of AI technology in general. And interestingly now, um, also the same applies to AI related patent filings. Now, by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Bastian Best. I'm a European patent attorney and I'm making these videos and podcasts to help IP professionals file better digital patents. So let's look at some slides I'm frequently using when I'm talking to people about um, this. Here in the first slide, I've taken this chart from a great article on the Patent Next blog uh, written by uh, Ryan Fallon. Check it out, link in the description. And um, this chart shows uh, the number of AI related patent filings uh, in the US at the US Patent and Trademark Office. And you can see um, the explosive growth, the almost exponential uh, growth, growth trajectory. Um, the article uh, cites an official study from the USPTO, which in turn says that in the 16 years from 2002 to 2018, annual AI patent applications increased by more than 100%, rising from 30,000 to more than 60,000 annually. So impressive numbers. Now what if we look at the European Patent Office? There's an interesting um, statistic done by a UK um, patent law firm, which I'm citing here, link also in the description. It's worth checking out the whole um, article on their blog. And also here you can see um, the chart on the left hand showing the number of published European patent applications relating to AI. In this chart, what they did is they looked at the published European patent applications in class G06 n which is um, the patent classification class for computer systems based on specific computational models so this class covers things like neural networks and also some other kinds of computational models but all in all it's a good representation of ai related inventions i would say and also here you can see um, the numbers just exploding on the right hand side you see the growth rates in blue uh, related to AI um, um, related patent applications compared to um, the growth rate in total for all published EP applications in red. So quite impressive numbers here as well. What I, what I like to do frequently when I'm talking to people about um, patents for AI, I look at their industry and I um, look up some some uh, statistics about patent findings in their industry. So what I basically do is I search for published patent applications for AI, meaning in class G06N plus uh, the class of um, the client or, or the person I'm talking to. So because we are always, it's it's great to look at uh, the patent findings for AI for <laughs> certain industries. Just some examples here. If we look at the public, published patent applications for AI for transmission of digital information, which basically covers the whole smartphone connected uh, devices um, um, space, exponential growth. If we look at published patent applications for AI for program controlled manipulators, which is basically uh, the, the CPC class for all um, industrial robots. Um, explosive growth as well. If we look at published patent applications for AI for 
things like conveying, packaging, storing, so typical manufacturing uh, machinery uh, uh, scenarios, much lower numbers in total, but also here, again, this kind of hockey stick curve. If we look at published patent applications for AI for electric or magnetic measuring and testing, so these are testing devices, exponential growth as well. And uh, last not least, if we look at published patent applications for AI for things like um, endoscopy, for example, also here, small numbers uh, on an absolute scale, but exponential growth. So um, just wanted to share these charts with you because I think they are um, interesting. Now, question to you. Uh, what about the AI related patent filings in your industry? Let me know in the comments what's your industry or what's your use case for AI and machine learning and then we can see if there's also such an explosive growth in patent filings like we've seen in the examples, right? So please do comment below and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you found this content valuable, here's three more ways to file better digital patents. 1. Book a free virtual coffee meeting with me and ask me anything, link in the description. 2. Follow me on LinkedIn for daily-ish tips and tricks. And 3. Email this content piece to a colleague and share it on LinkedIn. This way I see it's relevant and can make more.